What is going on, my YouTube friends and all my Patreon friends? How we all doing? How we all doing, y'all? Y'all been blasting me with some McFly. And I just got introduced to McFly, too. And uh, this is going to be like my third reaction now. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, who sent me this one? Who sent me this one? Christina sent me McFly, Surf Medley, live at Wem Wembley. Yeah, <laughs> with the subtitles. It's going to be my second medley that I've seen from McFly already, y'all. I hope it's as fun as the first one. I'm going to have the link to the video in the description box. I'd appreciate it if y'all are giving the original video another view. And uh, I got all my links in the description box too. If y'all want to send me your requests or join the Discord, come hang out and chat with us, y'all. Let's do this. Let's check this out. Please welcome on stage our fans. Yeah, we thought it might be fun if we let some of our fans come up on stage with us. You jealous? Huh? Yep. Always jealous. It's all right. We pretty much ignore them through the whole night. Only time I've ever been brought on stage when it wasn't a work thing was at a Buddy Holly musical. No, it was dinner theater. That's what it was. And I had to like dance for a minute. And I don't dance, y'all. I'm really awkward. And, uh, and then I walked off stage. Otherwise, it's like because a bass guitar fell over or a keyboard had to get rip ripped off the stage real quick or a mic stand or a cymbal stand fell over. I had to pick up a cymbal stand in front of thousands of people once. That was really weird. Anyways. Next song anyway, and we look at you guys, so. As some of you may have noticed, we have gone for a sort of beach theme on our stage tonight. And so, we'd like to take this opportunity to play you some of our more summery songs from our first album. This is our surf medley. They look young in this. When it's quarter four, hanging out at the beach of play. And we all got our boys, they don't want me to get the guys to wait. Well, they should have said, when I left you in bed, we were in the water. Where I just fell, I left you to be now. It's kind of being served a baby. I hope I'm not a little too late. I never know what you're gonna say. You don't know what type of you are, but you are, but you are, but you are. You are. That bass taking us for a walk, man, is giving me Beatles vibes. I love it. Well, you better get off, guys. Your daddy's awake. Said he saw you last night, making that by the leg with the point of view. That's a big thing to say to you. That's a big beach ball. Says I look pretty cute, but I don't look this way. See the star on my foot, and the way I'm behaving, the way I'm fanning around. But daddy's not around. Oh, baby. Man, this is like they're just smashing through the hits, eh? I wonder how many they're gonna play every like minute they're switching songs. Go. <laughs> These harmonies are great, man. I, like, I think they're thirds, but like they're killing them. And with the handoffs, I was talking about this. I watched an acoustic. Uh, warm-up of theirs in the bathroom and like the handoffs and the harmonies are great like the fact that everyone can sing lead everyone that's singing can sing lead and can sing harmonies you just don't see that all the time you just you just don't see that all the time Friends said, 
Fire. Love the harmonies. Switch from like finger picking with his thumb and stuff to the pick. The pick's much more like pronounced. You can hear each strike a lot more, right? But like he had a nice little dynamic kind of build in there, as well as like a really clean, like tasty kind of vocally solo, right? Like very melodic, very vocal, vocalist kind of style solo. Energy, y'all. Nice. So let's see if I can redeem myself in the guitar player talk. So Les Pauls are real sustainy, like just kind of by nature. Um, the telly will be real slappy and real like pronounced. Each note is very, very pronounced, whereas like a Les Paul is kind of smoother sounding. Um, I personally prefer a telly for lead guitar, just personally, right? So it was neat to hear kind of like two back-to-back -back similar solos with the two different guitars because like they have different tonal qualities to them, right? And like they're, they're going to be playing different guitar amps. You don't want to have the exact same guitar tone between the two and just depend on like musicianship will lend a bit, but you don't want to just depend on the guitar sounding different because otherwise you're going to have like these phasing issues with the guitar amps. But like that was a really good example of a Tele versus a, a Les Paul, right? And everyone has their preferences. Like Les Pauls are crazy, crazy, crazy popular. It's just not my cup of tea is all. That's it. That's it. This is not my first choice. I love Les Pauls. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't want to mi misconstrue that. I don't want to mix that up because I can't always find my words. Um, it's just like not my what, what I would reach for if I was playing leads. I'd reach for a Tele or an SG before a, a Les Paul. I think Les Pauls are cool. I think they're beautiful guitars. Just, you know, anyways. Epic. Oh no. Oh, deep. Great transition. Great transition. She wanted to touch, she didn't want to anymore, anymore, anymore. Before I could ask why she was gone, out the door. Out the door. Don't 
I think this is the uh, bathroom warm up that I watched. I think this is the same song. Great note. Great note. Come on. Yeah, Danny. She's gone. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, like, oh, it's just about over. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just sitting here thinking, I bet you they wrote this song when, like, one of these guys or maybe all of them were going through, like, a hard time, right? Like, it's got me thinking about when I got broken up with and I just left and I never called and I never looked back and all my friends are like, bro, I can't believe she's gone. And I was like, I know it's like, but I just got to deal with it. And I'm going to be lonely forever. And this is my identity now. And now they're like singing this song at Wembley and it's just like a party. <laughs> like what a change, right? <laughs> Love them harmonies. Giving me Beatles harmonies. Definitely giving me Beatles harmonies. Yeah, this is a fun one, y'all. This band is fun, though. This band's like a vibe. And I really appreciate the multi-singing and the lead singer versus uh, harmony singer. Like, the, the fact that they can all do that. Because not all bands can do that. I gave the example that, like, I can sing leads to an extent. I'm not really a singer. I was a sound guy, but I sang in a band. I can sing leads, and that's fine. I can't really sing harmonies though. Like every once in a while I get like a good one. I can lock into it. Um, but I can't just like pick them out of the air. Like I really got to work on them. My buddy Kevin doesn't like to sing leads. He hears things in thirds. Like when you play him a melody, he'll sing you the harmony like back. And it's just like, it's the wildest thing. He said his grandma was like that too. But uh, some people, they're just like built for it one or the other. But I really appreciate when they can do both and they can do both well. Cause everybody's singing lead. Like it seems like they're just as good as the last guy. And when they go to the harmonies, it's not like your like ears get bothered and you're like, Oh man, I wish he was just singing the lead part or I wish he wasn't singing or any of those things. Right. Like, so I appreciate that. I really enjoy that. This has been a fun, fun journey. Y'all I'm excited about the McFly journey. Uh, I have the link to this in the description box as well as all my links as well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, all that stuff, all that YouTube stuff. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.